This is a CBS 4 News update. Good morning, I'm Maribel Rodriguez. Multiple law enforcement agencies worked together to bust the South Florida game crime ring. 11 men were arrested in what was called Operation Fill Her Up. Police tell us the suspects would steal credit cards in order to buy gasoline and fill up trucks with illegally modified gas tanks. They would then sell the gas for half the price. Miami-Dade police say they confiscated nearly 70 stolen credit cards. They expect to conduct more operations like this in the future. Now to the deadly school shooting at Stoneman Douglas High School. Broward County Public Schools has suspended its investigation into the shooting. Just last week, the district announced it hired a former Secret Service agent to lead that investigation. The district says its own investigation conflicts with one being done by the state. Staff members will be interviewed by state investigators soon, and the district says it does not want them to be questioned twice. This morning, a disabled man says his prayers have been answered after an unholy act left him without his specially equipped van. Kenneth Roberts says police found his van just blocks from where it was taken outside the Holy Family Episcopal Church in Miami Gardens. Roberts says he heard the good news right after his morning prayers. I believe in my man upstairs. Once I talk to him, it works. I am no mobile. I'm more independent now. It takes me all to my places, my doctor's appointment, my church. The three teens who were caught on camera taking the van have been arrested. Robert says the van has some minor damage, but is otherwise okay. MDX officials are addressing concerns over proposed changes below the 836. They held a public meeting last night. The divergent diamond interchange are designed to alleviate congestion when crossing Northwest 27th and 57th Avenues. Officials say the roads will have enough signs to avoid confusion. The 27th Avenue interchange is set to open this month. The 57th Avenue one will open in the fall. CBS 4 weather with meteorologist Lisette Gonzalez. Good Thursday morning. We're seeing a mix of sun and clouds from our wind jammer, Zora camera, Lauderdale by the sea. Low 80s in Miami Fort Lauderdale, 87. In Key West, it's warm and muggy out there, and the breeze is helping to carry in a few showers this morning, even some downpours near Lighthouse Point, Deerfield Beach, Pompano Beach, as well as around Miami Beach, Port of Miami now, moving into downtown Miami, as well as the upper Keys. The breeze out of the east, southeast, 5, 13 miles an hour will be building throughout the day, but notice on the water vapor imagery a lot more red, indicating dry Drier in the mid to upper levels of the atmosphere that should help to decrease the rain chance as we head throughout the day. There still could be some passing showers because of that onshore flow. So as you can see, this model showing around 1, 2, 3 p.m., maybe a shower here or there, but not as widespread as yesterday. And then the bulk of the activity will move inland to the west. Highs right around 90. It'll feel like the hundreds due to that high humidity. That gusty breeze will stick around and could bring us some spotty showers as we head into your Friday and the weekend. Highs will continue in the low 90s. And that's our news for now. You can always find us on CBSMiami.com. Tune in to CBS 4 News at 5, 6, 7, and 11 for all of today's important headlines.